Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the romance mystery drama film Safe Haven starring Julian Hoff, Josh Dumel, and Kobe Smulders. Alright, and so this film is about when a young woman played by Julian Hoff, she has a mysterious past and it's a dark secret that haunts her, so she moves to Southport, North Carolina to, you know, just start a new life, going to a more safer city. And then she meets a widower uh, named Josh Dumel, and that's really all you need to know. It's on, based on a Nicholas Sparks book, and I know a lot of people say it's too sappy, and to me, I don't mind the movies based on Nicholas Sparks books. I really don't mind it. So they're just kind of like whatever to me, but I really don't mind them. And so with Safe Haven, it's basically the same as any other Nicholas Sparks movies I've seen. I, they're not great, but you know, I don't really mind them. Safe Haven is just a watchable film. It's nothing special. It is a forgettable film, and it is something you've seen a hundred times. I don't mind cliches as long as they're done a refreshing way. But the way the cliches are done, Safe Haven, they're just kind of like, whatever to me. Julian Hoff, she did a good job in Safe Haven. She's beautiful, she's sexy, and she can definitely act. And I thought the character she had uh, for the material given, I thought she did a good job overall. Josh Dumel was good here too. And Kobe Smulders, who you, who you would remember from the Avengers and... The TV show How I Met Your Mother, she was in here, and I thought overall she did a good job. She was enjoyable, her presence. And storyline-wise, it's and it's it's okay. The storyline's really just okay. It has a predictable formula, like I could really picture everything that's coming. Just the storyline, yeah, it's really not good. It's just predictable. It's nothing refreshing, to be honest. It's just a watchable romance, drama, mystery film. The thing that definitely surprised me about Safe Haven that I didn't expect was that there was actually a mystery aspect behind it. Like, I would think it was one of those romance things, and it definitely is. But I didn't expect it to be this dark mystery aspect behind it. And that's what made the movie kind of interesting and a little watchable. Um, it was predictable a mile away. The mystery was unfortunately predictable. I really didn't get any surprises here in Safe Haven, but then again, it's a movie based off of Nicholas Sparks' book, so what do you expect? So Safe Haven isn't a surprising film. It's nothing special in my opinion. Of course, if you are a Nicholas Sparks fan, then watch Safe Haven. It's really not a bad film. It's watchable. And then the ending of the film, I gotta say, was quite impressive. There was a little twist in the end, and I liked it. I thought it was pretty good how it was handled, and yeah. So, it's not a bad film. So, Safe Haven overall, it's a forgettable, but okay and watchable romance mystery drama film. Unless you love romance films, go see this film, but if you really don't like Nicholas Sparks-based films, then... I don't think you're going to like Safe Haven. I'm going to give Safe Haven 2 out of 4 stars. It's nothing special, but you know, it's overall okay. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your honest opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have Taga Power.